Well, hello again, my friends. So today we're going to review another radio, but just to vary off, it's not going to be about Fang today. It's going to be one about Fang's uh, first cousins, maybe a Brie. You're familiar with the brand of Brie because they make antennas, and you've seen a lot of their antennas, which are pretty decent actually. I've used a few of them myself, uh, but this comes out as an Abri radio. Now, um, the interesting thing about this unit is this actually has um, supposedly six bands which means it'll also do aircraft bands so it's in the 120s now that's kind of interesting you obviously cannot transmit on that but you can receive and since I live close to a major airport uh, I thought it'd be interesting to just have that in addition to my scanner um, just to kind of listen to aircraft and the towers and communication between the towers and the aircrafts but still have the capability to transmit when I wanted to either on GMRS or MERS or ham bands um, so I picked it up it was an expensive radio I think it was uh, just under forty dollars probably I like it I like the fact that it even has a knob so you can actually either use the buttons to change the channels or you can actually use the knob right here. That's going to be your volume, and you can use this to change. Now, like um, most Baofengs, and it's got the standard push to talk button, which is kind of color coded in blue. It's kind of interesting. It does have the two extra function buttons on it. It has the standard two pin K connector for uh, programming, although it will not program. Uh, through chirp so you have to use a proprietary program now another interesting feature is it does have a USB-C connection where you can actually charge the radio just using a USB-C cable and that is always an interesting feature because if I'm going out somewhere I like to be able to do that um, talking about that uh, push to talk button one thing I don't like about it is it's a little too touchy so it takes a very very soft touch so if you're carrying it and you're not careful you could accidentally be pushing the button and maybe transmitting uh, as long as you're on the proper frequency obviously uh, the antenna that comes with it is not too bad it's actually a decently working antenna I had it measured I'm gonna probably put up another video one time about the equipment I use to test both antennas and radios uh, to check power levels it does follow a standard Baofeng procedure it is a uh, dual band so VHF and UHF it's a female SMA so if you have a lot of antennas or if you use Nagoya's or any other brand of antennas that you like to use you can easily connect them to this radio as well I mentioned the software earlier um, yes it does have proprietary software so this radio is marketed uh, let me get this thing in focus here see if I can this light might be a little too bright. It is, and here we go. It is marketed as a professional two-way radio, model number AR830. All right. So this is what Abri rates it at. It is also available from two other suppliers, as far as I found. One is iRadio Communications. Now they call it a UV83 and also it is available from Radtel as a RT83 or something like that. It's the same radio basically, it's exactly the same both in appearance and in functionality. Um, Snap-on battery does come with a base charger of course so it has your base charger. It is nice, it has a decent screen, pretty decent audio so right now it'll show you the channel it also shows you the secondary channel but it also shows you the frequency down here now that uh, screen will go off here in just a minute and you'll be able to see it a little bit better because right now with the additional lighting obviously it doesn't show very well so uh, well, I think I got my timer on for like wow 30 seconds maybe okay so still on there you go so now that it's off here you can actually see it a little bit better if I move it around so I'll show you the channel it'll also show you the frequency right here now the one thing I do not like about it is that actually it will not show you the labels that you have for your channels so you have to remember what you have on what channel uh, basically or remember your frequencies 
that to me is a little bit disconcerting, but it's not a real problem. It's not a major problem. I mean, I use certain channels that I familiar with that I usually use so I have the same numbers pretty much on all my radios and that way it's a lot easier to track down which one I'm going to be using. But that is to me one of the only thing that bothers me is the fact that I cannot put a label on there and actually see it. Now I did test this radio uh, both on VHF and UHF and I'm pulling just under uh, 4 watts of power on uh, VHF and a little over five in UHF so that's not too bad um, I think it's rated as an 8 watt radio I believe is what they're selling it as but again um, I come up with about four watts in VHF and a little over five in UHF that's very satisfactory for the use that I have for it for GMRS or MERS short range it's a nice little radio it, it feels good in the hand it's pretty solid um, Appearance wise, I think it looks a little bit better than most Baofengs, which I own quite a few of. Um, but it's it's a change, it's something different. I think uh, it is even marketed by Baofeng somewhere. I haven't seen it with a Baofeng label yet. And I certainly hope that eventually it will be available to program via Chirp. That way I can copy my programming uh, from radio to radio, which I often do. In this particular case, I had to re-enter everything into the proprietary software which was actually sent to me by the vendor. Uh, I will put a link below to access the vendor that I got this unit from. It is available from several vendors. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it on, on different sites. I think I got it off eBay. So if you like these little short videos that I make, I like to keep them short and that way not bore you to death and just give you the basic information you want to look for. I'm sure there are more uh, intricate videos online that you can review if you want to. This is just a quick review just to give you an idea of what you have. Uh, I really would appreciate if you would subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave comments. I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I get them. Uh, thanks for watching.